Welcome to Lawrence, Kansas. And pay heed all who enter. And beware, these Jayhawks can play a little football too. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the sport. A rivalry game where the results will be remembered for a lifetime. As we'll see the number 19 team in the country, the Kansas State Wildcats taking on the 21st ranked team in the land, the Kansas Jayhawks. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. The Jayhawks will kick it away to start us off. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. So the Kansas State Wildcats offense takes the field for the first time today. And the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive in games like this, guys, and it's crucial to get your emotions under control. No doubt. In rivalry games, you've got to limit the mental errors and you've got to limit the penalties because those will kill you, Bob. And you've got to come out under control. It means so much. We know that. The fans are all talking about it. But it's just football. They go right back to him. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. Johnson wants to throw it. Grabs it in the middle. He's going to have enough to pick up the first down as they stop him at the 33-yard line. And the Wildcats come to the line with a new set of downs. Pulls and fires complete to the right. Not the biggest play in the world, but it's one that can set the tone as he bangs his way out to the 38. Takes the handoff. It's Giddens. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Lining up, trying to convert this third and short from the 40. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Quickly complete. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it's a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. First down physicality wins football games being able to run the football and create balance and and right here just choose up another first down gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football and i feel like this guy too is just an explosive play waiting to happen his vision his quickness and he's got a burst if you give this guy just a crease he's gonna hit it and right now he's doing some damage on this defense they have relished this tight victory since the last time these two got together Paula. Guys, this winning is beautiful. And when you beat your rival and you get those bragging rights, Palmer, it is a glorious thing for a whole year and sometimes longer. Well, that's the best thing about rivalry games like this. For the winning team, whoever pulls this one out here today, their fans are going to be bragging about this one for a long time. And here comes the field goal unit. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And the first points of the day come on that field goal. I know one thing this head coach does every week is he challenges his guys to start fast. And it's so important today, playing on the road in this kind of environment. You saw a nice drive. They didn't get the touchdown they would have loved, but still, kicking that field goal and taking this early lead, that's a statement for the visiting team. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. And here's the return. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. The Jayhawks offense will go to work for the first time today. You know, David, both of these teams have a strong safety that can support the run and also disruptive in the passing game. I mean, it's just so nice to have a guy that's so physical, like a linebacker, but also can play like a DB. These guys are really revolutionizing defenses. They hit people, too. They are heat-seeking missiles. Nobody wants to run over the middle of the field against these guys. And I tell you what, we can focus on the left side of the line of scrimmage because that's the way, that's where the play starts. But you don't get big gains when you run out wide unless wide receivers, yes, wide receivers, commit to blocking, staying on their guys. Really good job on the outside by giving the running back space to make the big play. 
Might as well give it to him again. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Looking to throw, it's Daniels. He's got it. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. Looking to move it through the air. Gets it out fast. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. Leaves it with the back. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10 from the 31. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. The big pickup on first down leaves him with second and one, keeping it on the ground with the single back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Ball's at the 25. They're in field goal range, but they'd love to convert this third and short. Plows through the defense. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. Here comes the field goal unit. He'll try to knock it through from 38 yards out. Didn't make him sweat at all. It's good. And that's going to give us a tie ball game. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. K-State has the ball back, and the Power Cat offense returns to the field. Quickly complete. And he's knocked down, but there's also a flag that's been dropped. Let's check on the call. Some hand fighting at the point of the catch will draw the penalty, but this one is going to go against the offense. They think they can impose their will here with the run to the right. Gives them some room to operate as he rumbles ahead for six out to the 15-yard line. They'll run play action. Got it behind the line. It's Brown. And he just couldn't get started. Goes down behind the line of scrimmage, and they'll lose yardage on the completion. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. He'll try to do it himself. You know those defenders wanted to light him up. Quarterback wisely gets down with the slide. K-State sends the punt team onto the field, ready to boot it away. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. Bringing it back, it's Wilson. He was able to get that ball up to the 48-yard line before he stopped on the return. They believe they can run right here. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and 10. Looking for space, it's Neal. Only a couple there, and now staring at third and eight. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. The biggest lie college football coaches tell is... And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. The defense coming up big there, and the sack is great, but the secondary deserves some credit, too. No doubt. When you can cover like that in the secondary and drop back in your zone and only rush a few and you feel comfortable getting home and they're going to get to the quarterback, that is a great feeling, and that's fun to be a defensive coordinator calling the plays. And the Jayhawks will call on their punt team. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. On the move, it's Lockett. He gets a block. Wide open, and it's a foot race. Take it to the house. Touchdown, Wildcats. 
The return man takes it to the end zone himself, and now he'll give his team the lead. And your defense made a big stop. You think you're getting the offense, the football back, but how about special teams coming through in a big way to take the lead for you? Get some excitement, get some juice back on your side. They'll try to add another to their lead. And they knock through the extra point for the 10-3 lead. So his big play capability was on full display in that one as he took that punt back for the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. And the returner will be dragged down. The Kansas offense returns to the field. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. A third and long coming up here. Back to pass, it's Daniels. Fires to the wide out. Wide open downfield. It's a game of first downs, and they've got one out to their own 37. The Jayhawks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Well, there's a great example of the receiver working back to his quarterback. And the ball is picked off. Would have loved to have gotten a big return out of that one, but they'll take it first down at the 40. I love when people start to understand what we're doing defensively. If they're going to pass the football and that's where they're going to live, well, I'm going to live in dime. I'm going to bring more defensive backs on the field so I can cover more of these speed guys that they have out there. Great job by the defensive back, breaking on the football, making the INT, making the D.C. look very smart. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but, man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you're set up in an opportunity to get some points, start thinking about what plays I like, Jesse, as I cross the 50. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there, David, and in this position, they like to take a shot right away and try and capitalize on this field position. And the ball's free in the backfield. The defense pounced on that, and now they're headed the other way. Nothing but green grass down the middle. Touchdown, Kansas! And the defense doing work. This time, it's the defense finding ways to put points on the board. There is nothing better than being a defender. Seeing that ball in the end zone, your eyes get big as saucers. Go jump on that puppy, secure it, gets you a touchdown. He'll try to tack on one more. Right down the boulevard. That is a defensive player's dream. Ball sitting there, chance to scoop it up, run with it, and they don't stop you until the band starts playing. Here he comes from inside his own five. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. K-State has the ball back, and the Power Cat offense returns to the field. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Off play action. And down he goes back at the three. You know, David, I love defenses that stay aggressive, especially at this point of the field. They've got pass rushers on this unit with speed and that are aggressive, and they can win one-on-one, -on -one, and you saw it right there. And there's two thought processes when I'm a defense and I got them backed up is I am stopping the run, not allowing them to have any space, but also understanding this is also a shot part of the field. Like, it's going to be a run, or a lot of times that ball is going to be a deep ball thrown down the sideline because you'll get man-to-man. -man. Nice job by the defense applying pressure, getting a sack, now putting them in a bad situation, backed up close to their own end zone. He just wanted to get it out of there from his end zone. Fair catch, called for and made. 
both teams wanted to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. We've got a good one going here and looking forward to keep those vibes rolling here in the second. Kansas gets the ball back and the Jayhawk offense is ready to go to work. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Looking to scramble. And the quarterback bought some time, but not enough. Down he goes with the sack. The pocket broke down and the quarterback had to take the sack. Really impressed by this pass rush, Reese. Just guys winning their individual battles one-on-one -on -one up front. They're able to get to the quarterback. We'll see if they can get a little better protection after the sack. It's second and 12. Looking for a gap. It's Neal. Got enough for the first, and he's still going. And they get him out of bounds after an explosive run, just chewing up yardage along the way. Every time he touches the ball, you can feel the excitement from this home crowd because Palmer, he can go the distance with that game-breaking speed. You're right, David. He's a special talent. I'll tell you, these fans, they come here to see this guy play because he has game-breaking speed. Stuff you can't coach, you saw it on that play. After that huge gain, now a chance to cash it in from just outside the five. Flags flying as the pass is incomplete. Let's see what the call is. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Back to pass. It's Daniels. Fires into the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Rock Chuck Jayhawk! Quick strike, touchdown, comes out and jump starts the offense. And man, we see this in college football, so much explosiveness and firepower, and we get high scoring game after high scoring game, and it looks like we're on pace for one of those right now. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. Knocked down after picking up five out to the 24. And that's the problem with blitzing on defense. You live by the blitz, you die by the blitz. Defense dialed up the pressure, but the offense had a better play call. They ran it away from the blitz, and that's why they were able to be successful. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Wide out in motion. Hand off from the shotgun. Discards a man. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. The run from the shotgun. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. He'll pull it on the read. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. To the ground to try to pick up the first. They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46-yard line. The Wildcats are moving quickly down the field. They're going to ride this running back. Stop is made at the 36, but he picked up 10 on that one and has a fresh set of downs. They have just bloodied their nose on this drive, all on the ground. It's first and 10. Just enough room to gain a couple down to the 34 after picking up a couple at second and eight. Going to run it. It's Giddens. Plows ahead for a pickup of one to the 32. 
Eighth play of the drive coming. It'll be a third and six. From the gun, wants to pass. And he's got his man on the sideline. He'll come up a little short of the first down. Now on fourth down, they'll settle for a field goal try. That's exactly what they told us they wanted to limit. Yards after the catch, and it pays off on this play. And especially in these situations in third down when you know the ball's going to come out fast, understanding that, breaking on the football, going, making the tackle, and forcing the fourth down. The Kansas offense returns to the field. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. They'll leave it with him. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. And now on third down after that last run. They'll try to run for it. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. And with that last carry, into triple digits, over 100 yards for the day. And he's showing you power. He's showing you speed. He's showing you make you miss. He really is showing you he's a complete back. And by the way, it's still the first half. You know, these throws to the perimeter of the field can be so tricky for a quarterback. You've got to be pinpoint accurate and have great timing. You didn't see it there from the QB. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. Great job, too, by the QB there. Holding the ball as long as possible, allowing the pass rush to get upfield, and at the very last second, getting it to his guy so that he can go get the first down. Here comes the offense on second down. They'll leave it with the lone back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They've started a pretty good drive. This will be the seventh play, but they need to convert third and five. Unloads to the wideout. Got his man to the left. Just making a play, getting it to the 23-yard line. It'll be first down. Guys, how many first downs is that? Just on this drive alone? I mean, this defense allows one or two more drives like this, and they're going to be gassed by the third quarter. And the Jayhawks have it with a first and ten. The give to the tailback. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. To the air, it's Daniels. Throws to the wideout. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. They'll try to get the first through the air. Caught near the sticks. It's Neal. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. After another clutch third down conversion, it's first and goal. Snags it. And he was straining for the goal line, but the defense stopped him short. Defense going all in to stop the run. Looking for a path to the end zone to the right. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Let's see what the offense dials up on third and goal. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Touchdown, Jayhawks! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. They just took the air out of that thing. That might be an understatement. They took the ball away and just wore down, just grinded away at that defense. And took a lot of time off the clock in the process as well. I'm impressed with the physicality up front of this offense, because that's where it all starts. If you're going to march the ball down the field like they just did, you've got to be dominating in the trenches, and they are doing that in this game right now. And the kick is good, but there is a penalty flag because he paid for making that kick. I think they're going to get him for roughing the kicker. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. They're lining up to kick it off, and he ought to be able to knock this one anywhere he wants after that extra 15 yards with the roughing the kicker. 
Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Fast motion from the offense. Quick touch pass to the receiver. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this thing has been one-sided, and they hope to at least have something to feel good about going into halftime. Finds his man. It's Edwards. They're going to keep this drive going. They'll have to make a play on third and long from the 26. From the gun, wants to pass. He's got an open man. Afterburner's coming. And he's still on his feet, but finally out of bounds after a terrific run. Big play in the running game for this offense. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. So that big play changes the complexion of things. It's first and 10 just outside the 30. They want to just keep throwing it. Makes a connection. And he makes a completion there. Set up and in business at the 20. K-State trying to cannonball their way to a score from the red zone. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. The short hands. It's Edwards. Gets out of bounds after the big play, and they'll be set up in business with a first and goal. And this is a really important series of plays, a chance to cut into the lead just before halftime. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? Johnson looking to throw. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. Needs to get it in the end zone on third and goal. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Kansas State. And that's a nice drive, a nice physicality, punching it in with the run game. And here's the thing. I like where this offense is going. Nice job creating some momentum, going into the half, cutting down the lead. This thing could get really exciting. Nice job answering the bell right before the half. PAT unit on the field. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. So a well-executed eight-play, 75-yard drive. And they punctuated it with a five-yard touchdown run. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Kansas gets the ball back, and the Jayhawk offense is ready to go to work. They'll start this drive with a pass. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. That last completion sets him up on second down. He's looking to throw. It's complete on the right side. The offense calls a timeout to stop the clock. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great way right now. Solid work and execution there. They'll have a first down as they mark it at the 40. The Jayhawks come to the line with a new set of downs. The offense calls timeout, and they won't have any more left this half. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. Unloads it left. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. It's first and 10 from the 44-yard line. Trying to get to him. Outside the pocket, lets it go. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Dropping back, it's Daniels. And a little too much adrenaline on that throw never gave his receiver a chance. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. 
Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. And the Jayhawks send out the punt unit. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting upfield. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result now, fourth down. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. Two quarters of both sides feeling each other out. And it's likely to come down to which offense can find a way to generate some big plays. Adjustments will be a part of it. Maybe it's time these typically conservative play callers open up the playbook. Nothing crazy, but a calculated risk here and there to try to gain an edge in what's been a stalemate. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. On the run from inside his own five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. The Kansas offense returns to the field. They start this third quarter with the lead, but they might want to think about shoring up that protection. Yeah, they... And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. And they are fortunate to get the ball back, but unfortunate to have a long way to go after that loss. Well, ball security doesn't just apply to running backs and receivers. QB's got to keep two hands on the ball as well. And they're very lucky after that fumble that the offense jumped on. Still quite a bit left on the plate on second and eight from the 25. Off the play fake. Fires to the big fella. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Going to take a shot. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. The Jayhawks will send out the punt unit. Well, in the first half, this offense was up and down the field. It seemed like everything they were dialing up was working. And here we are in the third quarter, and there's a very rare incompletion on their own end of the field. Maybe that's the play the defense needs now to spark some momentum. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Fires to the middle. Complete downfield. And he just kept running, and he ran away from the crowd, and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Wildcats! Man, how hard is it to defend when you have a weapon like this at running back that can play wide receiver? You can design ways to get the football in his hand. Palmer, once you get it in his hands, he'll do the rest. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, and oftentimes those are easier throws for quarterbacks. And these running backs, they're just naturally so good when they have the football out in space. Their vision, their creativity, their ability to make people miss. And this guy showed you right there a difficult, difficult guy to stop now if you're this defense moving forward. And they did make the extra point, and we have a tie ball game here in the third. That drive not too taxing on the playbook. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. He'll start the return inside his five. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. Kansas gets the ball back, and the Jayhawk offense is ready to go to work. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive movement. Makes the stop at the 33, but it's a 15-yard gain. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. He wants to throw quickly to the tight end. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Now on second down. To throw, it's Daniels. Finds a soft spot in the middle. And good coverage by the defense. Just a short game. Here on third down for this offense. From the gun, wants to pass. Gets it out quickly. And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. And the Jayhawks look to keep this drive humming. 
Man, he had to get rid of that thing. I don't even think he had time to find the laces, but he picks up the first down. Yeah, that's a great job. You know, third and short, the defense is bringing pressure. He sees the pressure, gets the football out, and gets just enough for the first down. Looking for a crease. It's Neal. When your best is demanded on a big stage like this against a rival, he has delivered, cracking the 150-yard mark. No doubt about it. What do we say? Big-time players make big plays in big games. The games don't get bigger than this for this team right here. And this guy, David, has shown up today. And it's so nice as a coach to have that dude that you know you can count on. He'll put up big numbers, and he's been carrying this offense. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Last play didn't go well. It leaves him with second and 11. They go to the ground. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Got it in the middle. It's Arnold. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. The Jayhawks with the first and ten. They'll go back to the ground. Working his way and keeping those legs moving. Picks up five down to the 14. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Looking downfield, it's Daniels. Got his man on the right. Touchdown, Rock Chop! They take the lead with the six. You know what? Methuselah lived 969 years. He was born and died in the amount of time it took them to walk it down the field and score that touchdown. <laughs> and that's just so frustrating. Play after play after play. You line up, you try to do your assignment, and you fail, and they cap it off with a touchdown? Oh, Methuselah. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. This offense is feeling itself right now, and momentum's coming along with them. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Gets open down the middle. I'll tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion, and the shortest throw on the field for the quarterback is finding your biggest target, and that's the tight end. Nice job. And he'll move his way forward to the first down. They'll mark it at the 35. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Right back to the well. Stopping the run is about physicality. It's about I'm bigger than you. I'm stronger than you up front. Really nice job by the defense. Showing their strength, bowing up, stuffing the run. And it just squirted through his hands. He wanted to take off and got too anxious. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Fires to the wideout. Another incompletion on third down. Kansas State will have to punt it away. That's why it's so important for this defense to win first and second down. You set up third and longs like that. You can show your exotic looks. You can get the pass rush going. Everybody in the back end expecting throw. And that's how you force incompletions and force fourth downs. From the gun, the ground game. Squirts across the 30 to the 32, a pickup of five. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Out of the gun, the inside give. Not much he could do there, does pick up two to the 34. Let's see if they keep it on the ground here on third down. He has been in see ball, get ball mode all day, and he is making his mark in this rivalry game, guys. I'll tell you, he was sick and tired of reading about and hearing about the offenses coming into this one. This guy had his own designs and his own plans. He has been balling, David, all over the field. And it's so fun. A rivalry game, you have so much emotion, so much passion. Well, guess what? You can let that out on defense. And defense, you can fly around, make plays, and he's 
been doing it all game long. Trying play action. He wants to take the top off. And the incomplete pass taking a shot on second down, and they'll be left with a third down. DB does an outstanding job here on the deep pass, locating the football, no PI, able to swat it away, pass incomplete. And the Jayhawks are rolling down the field. Yeah, a nice job dialing up that short yardage situation play call there, David. They needed one yard, and they picked up two. Touchdown, Kansas! And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. That's his third touchdown pass of the day. The defense has no clue how to respond right now. No, and the defense has had absolutely no answer. He's been on the money. He's been on fire, making the right decisions and just carving this defense up. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. So it's a 73-yard touchdown drive. And the finisher coming courtesy of that touchdown toss from 45 yards out. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. The play action fake. He's got his man across the middle. And he might be known for run fits, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. Sometimes your tight end's a safety valve, and sometimes he's your go-to receiver. And the offense knew right away it was the primary target. It was where he was going with the football, because you know you get a little bit of suck up from those linebackers with the play action, and you feed the big fella. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He's got great speed. Looking for running room, he'll get it to the 43-yard line before he stopped. The Kansas offense returns to the field. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about create balance, you know, run and pass. No, when you throw that good, spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive he had way too much time to throw. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Looking to throw, it's Daniels. Fires to the tight end. Just finds that little crevice, and he's still up. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. That throw and catch, a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, David? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open, because you got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. Find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. The Jayhawks are threatening on first and goal. Little touch pass to the receiver. Touchdown, Rock Chalk Jayhawk! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. And that's why this running back is so dangerous. It's not just handing him off the football, but he's a weapon in the passing game. You see his, his ability to catch it, turn up the field, make people miss, and find the end zone. Lining up to add another. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And he takes this from inside the five. Lowers those pads. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Out 
out of the shoe. Quick toss to the right. And they get him on the ground, and that'll probably do it for the third quarter. Second down coming up. If you like old-school running games, this has been the game for you and a couple of guys who starred through the first three periods. One more quarter to play, and it might be unlikely, but hey, it's college football. Comebacks happen. Johnson wants to throw it. Finds his tight end. And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? you got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. And you're going to win this game. And the Wildcats will snap it on first and ten. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down. Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. Looking to throw it again. They'll run the screen. And that will go backwards. A negative play in that defense on high alert that time. You know, as a quarterback, you believe in your matchup. And, and my running back, if I can get him the ball in space, he's going to win a lot of times. He did in that time. The defense was ready. Nice job in the open field making the nice tackle. This defense better not blink. I know they've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, but just look at who they're going against. This quarterback is one of the best in the nation. They cannot rest on their laurels. Someone's going to have to make a play. They'll put it in play from the 27. First down. The give to the single back. Works his way ahead for about three yards. Stopped at the 23. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Back to the ground game on the left. Oh, he left him grabbing. Touchdown, Kansas State. And they take it in for six more points. Now you know why you do all of those squats, all of those deadlifts, extra time in the weight room. No doubt. Get that lower body strength so you can just shed people off you. What a great job smelling the end zone and getting in. Ready to try the point after. Blitz the uprights. So it's a 77-yard touchdown drive. And the house call coming on the run from the 23. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it out. It's Wilson. That gamble did not pay off as they bring him down at the 12-yard line. Kansas gets the ball back, and the Jayhawk offense is ready to go to work. Working the middle, it's complete. This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking for explosive plays. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they get it out to the 36. After picking up this first down on the ground, let's see what they do. Getting some heat. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. I think if you're the head coach here, it's a bit of a mixed reaction to your passing attack so far in this game. You put up a bunch of yards throwing the football, you've lit up the scoreboard, but you've also given up four sacks. Pass protection has been a problem so far in this game. That sack gets this offense behind the chains. It's second down. He'll keep it himself. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. These read option plays are very hard to stop because you got to have enough guys in the box to play that immediate run, but also always be ready for that quarterback to take the ball and scoot out wide. And when the quarterback operates this like a magician, it makes it even tougher. Yeah, when he can see it, read it, and just flat go, those easy plays right there. I mean, he just picks up a little bit of yardage, but he can do it again and again and again. And it's just frustrating. And the Jayhawks are flying down the field. Motion from the offense. 
he has been the go-to guy on offense all game one. And a critical third down here in the fourth quarter. Surprise, surprise. Guess who they go to? That guy. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. They're getting this guy lathered up. And nowhere to go this time. And he couldn't follow up the big run with another. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and 10. Running back searching for a hole. Little too soft in that run defense. He picks up four to the 32. Eighth play of the drive, and to keep this one going, they'll need to convert a third and five. Back to throw, it's Daniels. Makes his connection. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Boy, the defense really needed to get off the field there, and they just couldn't do it, and it's a fresh set of downs. Man, that hurts. When you're trailing late in the ball game, you need those stops, and you get them to third down. You get them to those critical points. Now they get the first down. You don't have many left. You better get aggressive. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. Now the play fake. Firing to the right, complete. They'd hoped to be able to pick up enough after the catch, but a good stop leaves them with a fourth and short. Really good job by the defense being physical, understanding the situation in the game. The ball's going to come out quick. You know that. Go make the tackle. Force the fourth down. They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. K-State has the ball back, and the Power Cat offense returns to the field. Finds a tight end. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there, and he stopped from getting the first down. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. And that ball is picked off. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. And as a defensive lineman late in the game, man, when you know it's past, you're pinning your ears back trying to get to the quarterback. And DBs are trying to do this. Pad them stats, get the INT. Nice job by this D. The Kansas offense returns to the field. That last drive was a long one, Jesse. They'd like this time to pay it off with a touchdown instead of a field goal. No doubt, Reese. They had a lot of good stuff going that last drive. Need to get a tutty up on the board here to extend that lead there. And I think you definitely want a touchdown, but if you put another long drive together, get points, multiple possessions in a row, start to let those body blows add up and wear this defense out. Not a whole lot of room as he gets a couple inside the 30 to the 29. We've reached a two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. He showed it all there, a little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. The Jayhawks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. The give as they work on that clock. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. The offense quickly calls timeout to stop the clock. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll try the run. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Touchdown, Jayhawks! And the route is on. 
Man, you knew this one was over already, but how about an exclamation point to go with it? Another score for this offense. They've had themselves a great day, and the stats just continue to pile up. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And it was capped off with the eight-yard run. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. This has been a really disappointing performance, David. No question about that. But they can find some positives. Yeah, and every time you watch the tape, you know, Jesse, coaches are pointing out, look at this. This was open if we had just ran the details to the right route, hung on to the football. Little things can make a big difference. Yeah, that's why they call it a game of inches, David. But I'll say this. If you're on offense, don't go on social media this week. It ain't going to be pretty after this performance. You've got to lock in. You've got to take the week of practice very seriously and find those positives that you can build off, David, that you're talking about. The pass is incomplete, and there are two ticks remaining on the clock. And here we go. Final play of the game right here. Johnson looking to throw. Going back to the well, another deep ball. And they fight him to the bitter end all the way down to putting some more numbers in the stat column, but they'll come up a little short as time expires. 